<laughs> he shot it straight at me so fast. What's up, everybody? We are doing a sponsored stream today, thanks to our friends at Konami Digital Entertainment. The game is called Getsu Fumaden Undying Moon. The game came out last year. I think they have the 1.0 release coming out very, very soon. So, if you guys are interested and you like what you see today, consider checking out the link in the description below. It will take you to the Steam page for the game, and it'll track and let them know that you came from me. All right? So, let's get into it. I'm excited. I haven't played a game like this in a little while, and I think it's time that we do it. I think it's time that we do it. Absolutely. Yes. What? Why do they need to know this? I mean, I, I trust the trust the process. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Borderless? Save it. Background. How loud is this? Is this pretty loud? We'll adjust it as we need. Let's get in here. Um, apprentice, a difficult or a difficulty setting geared for beginners. Fewer stages and weaker enemies. No. Basic difficulty for players familiar with action games. Gameplay is casual, but still provides a challenge. Yes. Let's get in here. Let's do it. I just really want to get in here and just destroy some stuff. I already love the art style. With the seal upon hell undone, the world may soon meet its end. Do you still not know of my brother's whereabouts? Clan members have been sent to search for him, but his location is still unknown. Then I shall do this myself. You are the one chosen to lead the clan, thus the task of dealing with this cataclysm falls upon you. Yes. I'll go at once. Ooh. Prepare yourself. Ooh. I'm prepared. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. Ooh, Caltrops. Okay. Oh, shoot. Right into it. Tell me you guys don't love... Oh, little roll. Really? Oh. Okay. Ha Hachiku. The bamboo longbow. Okay, okay. Uh, in addition to main weapon, players can equip up to two sub weapons at a time. Limited ammunition and cooldown timers apply to sub weapons so they cannot be used in rapid succession. However, they have special effects, such as the ability to attack from afar, enhance your character, and more. Find the perfect pairing to your main weapon to help work your way through the game. <laughs> oh, got him. Yo! Nice. Okay, Soul Devour. Acquiring a soul will cause your Soul Devour counter to increase. Using Soul Steel will provide enhancements according to the number of souls used. And... Enhanced abilities will be reset if you return to Getsu Clan Estate. You can hold only hold up to four souls at a time. Acquiring a fifth, woo, 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 woo. Acquiring a fifth will give you a soul memory and return your soul devour count to one. When enhancing main and sub weapons with soul devour, enhancement bonuses based on the weapon's distinctive quality will occur. Enhanced vitality will raise your maximum vitality. Healing potion plus one will cause you to drop a healing potion where you stand. Carefully choose how you enhance your character to efficiently proceed through the game. Do they want me to? 
Oh. So this move isn't actually. Oh. Demonization. Repeatedly landing attacks without taking damage will cause you to demonize into a berserker, powering up your character. Your base abilities are increased according to your level of demonization. You can gain benefits such as increased attack or movement speed. Demonization will end if you take damage or fail to defeat any enemies for a period of time. Plan wisely to maintain demonization and take advantage of the benefits. So I'm demonized. <laughs> I'm demonized. Oh, do I have to? Maybe. Oh, maybe it just wanted me to transform, and then that was it. Okay. All right. It's said to be the most commonly used weapon of the Getsu clan. I think that's what it said. My dude looks legit. Yeah. I'm out. Oh. Unlocking difficulties. Change the game's difficulty at the training statue. Different enemies are added in each difficulty to make the game more challenging. Difficulties are unlocked when you obtain items of proof. Seek out proof of your strength and challenge even more powerful enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I want to go apprentice. All of treasure? Battle record? Ooh. <laughs> This game, wait, they can, all those materials come from these guys? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, land of limbo, here we come. All right, we're getting in here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it's fast travel. Okay, that's what that is. Come to me. Oh, say word? I'm going in. Oh, I have 1700. Nice. The umbrella. Yeah. Oh, raise weapon rank. Activation main weapon. Oh, what's that? Activation. Yeah. Activate the unlocked skills of main weapons and sub weapons to use a variety of abilities. Activation will reset when you return to Getsu, Getsu Clan Estate. Activating one skill uses one soul memory. You cannot activate a skill unless the previous one has been activated, of course. Soul memories are located throughout the stage. You cannot be acquired from any. Excuse me. The amount you can obtain is limited, so be strategic with which skills you choose to activate. Okay, I don't have materials. So. Raising the rank of equipment costs soul memories and coins. The higher the rank, the stronger its stats, including base attack. Let's check this out. Oh, B! Whoa, and I spoke way too s I should not... Man, I guess I dismantle it. Ah, by the way, we got a musket. Yo, this game is sick, you guys. Game is sick. Oh my gosh. Oh, he hit me. I didn't realize he hit me. Are you guys feeling this or what? I descended into hell on orders to find the root cause of these wicked creatures, but I abandoned my descent into the deepest depths, for I must return alive with what tidings I may. I sense a great power down there, but I know not what it is. Oh, what? Material pouch. Ooh, bloodshot eyeball times 10, crimson gold times 10, and blood soaked horn times 10. Give me that. Oh. All right. I use that, and then I can grab that. Nice. Inferno mana bracelet. Okay. Do 
dual wield. I need dual wield weapons. Oh, baby. Oh, no. I thought it was just those skulls. Yo, I like that. your number bro I got your number is he dead hey I got your number bro Give me all the good you gotta do them one by one you gotta do them one by one nice forge weapons and unlock skills oh to use the refinement and unlock skill features you must have the necessary materials. In refinement, you will also need relevant armor scrolls diagrams. Once a main weapon or sub-weapon has been refined, there's a chance it will appear randomly in the rest of the game. Oh, 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 oh. Un unlock skill will reveal hidden skills for refined main weapons and sub-weapons. Activate unlocked skills for a variety of effects. Skills must be unlocked in order. Right, yep. Uh, to increase your capabilities, aim to collect diagrams and materials as you play through stages. Oh, you're, we're not even close. We need we need big items here. Okay, that's where it's at. All right, training will permanently enhance your six base abilities. Life, base stat for vitality. Technique, attack damage multiplier. Break, attack break damage multiplier. Flash, increase damage multiplier when flash is successful. Stealth, increase break damage multiplier when a surprise attack is successful. Impact, base stat for stomp damage. A uh, certain number of spirit minerals uh, are required for enhancement and some also require the armor scroll. Find them, enhance, and enhance your abilities. Oh, so I have 12, and I need 45. Okay, I see. Secret arts? There are plenty of additional abilities unlocked with mastery. These unlocked abilities have a permanent effect. A certain number of spirit minerals are required for enhancement, and some also require the armor scroll. Find them. Okay. Okay. I have 14, and I need 40. Okay. Plus three break. Nice. Night. Oh man. Um Yeah, we'll raise that. Yeah, this is big right here. That's big right there. Need keys. <laughs> Not going back home. Not yet! Heal! Not yet, baby. We're going in. Hellfire Cliff. Here we go, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll teach you. Keen Katana. Okay. Look at what it does. Demon Breaker Formation Earth. Teachings of Destruction. Teachings of Destruction. It's actually stronger than the Sphere. Um, details. Break damage to Earth enemies. Break attack, break attack, break attack. Yeah. Activation. Raise rank. Mm -hmm. 
You know? Yo! I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna be upset. Um. Okay. Ooh, material pouch, small, medium, small. We'll come back if we can get, we're gonna get enough. We're gonna get enough money. We're gonna get enough, come on. All right, I need another uh, potion here before it's, before it's too late. Demon Slayer Diagram. Forging a spear, let's go. Full consumption, you know. Gosh, did he ever even stand a chance, to be honest? Boom. You know I want to! Okay. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. I jumped right into that. Son of a biscuit. No. Though your body may be destroyed, your soul and memory shall be eternally reincarnated. Oh my gosh, I got blasted out. Woo! That was crazy. Wow! Well, that'll do. I Honestly, I thought we were going to do really good, but that centipede had a ton of health, and it was pretty unpredictable for the first time. Oops, sorry about that. Oh my goodness!
uh, forge weapons. Cause we have a spear, right? So we have that. Oh my gosh. So I lost all of that stuff. Oh my goodness. I needed to beat that centipede in order to like unlock these where I take 30% of my stuff with me. I, uh... I can't wait to keep playing this, you guys. I really, really enjoy this. I think it I think it has great potential. I think the unlocks and the permanent progression is going to make the end game of this just mwah, magnifique. Thank you all so much for watching. This sponsored content brought to you in part by Konami Digital Entertainment. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And make sure you guys check the description below for the link that you can hit to go and wishlist this and maybe even get your hands on it all right thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it make sure you subscribe like comment on this video and i'll see you guys in the next one